All right, guys, I'm going to share with you the Aqua Dive Poseidon. This is a limited edition watch. My buddy Bruce sent over, Aqua Dive sent it to him. He already did the video on it, so it's my turn to get around to doing it. But um, right away, you can tell the pop of yellow. Obviously, the yellow strap, I mean, you can change that out. Um, I don't know why you would. I think the yellow looks really cool. Um, but with the Poseidon logo there on the dial, and then, of course, the inner chapter ring, for the GMT hand, which is kind of hidden there. Let's go ahead and move that out of the way so you can see that nice yellow GMT hand. So we'll go ahead and just put it, our hand down there, minute hand down there. So now you can see the GMT hand, bright yellow to match all the other yellow. And then um, let's just get into the watch specs. So you are looking at a 43.5 millimeter case width side to side not including the crown crown is oversized too it's uh, about a seven millimeter crown lug to lug you are looking at about 50 mil like 49.9 50 mil and then on that side profile you can see right there it's very unique the way they sloped their bezel you know it's kind of coned up like that so that'll help like if you are going to wear some sort of shirt or something that needs to go up over it that's going to assist it going up there but yet there's still decent amount of traction it's not super sharp but you can still turn it not a big deal um, about 14 millimeter thick that's including the flat sapphire crystal there anti-reflective coating on the underside and i'm sure it's a thick crystal as well because this is a thousand meter water resist watch and that's all part of that factor is going with a really thick sapphire crystal and special gaskets 22 millimeter lug width here and then you can see they paired it up with this iso frame made in italy very vanilla smelling which i always love opening those boxes up it's like all that smell all that scent is like pent up in that box and when you open it up it's like a burst of vanilla i like the scent of vanilla so it, it definitely works for me really nice 120 click bezel you can see it has a ceramic loomed bezel insert in there um, heavy application of loom on the bezel for sure or the bezel insert excuse me and uh, a really nice shiny ceramic so it's gonna have a nice contrast to it um, ETA 2893 I think I mentioned that um, this particular one if you look on the ca case back there it, it does say limited edition and it has the feature that I really like where they actually number it this is number 115 of 300 and you can see some other information there original Aquadive design 1970 so I think Aquadive was founded in 1962 so I'm not super familiar with the brand but there are some uh, really cool watches under their logo for sure. So let me pop this guy on wrist real quick for you. It's got a decent amount of weight to it. And it balances out really good with this isoframe. Very uh, comfortable case design as well on wrist. You can see there on my probably just under 7 and a quarter, just over 7 and 8, somewhere in there. Wrist size with that really thick isoframe. Really helps balance out the uh, you know thicker stainless steel case that they milled out of one big piece of you know stainless steel so they could get that thousand meter water resist so really good looking watch overall i think uh price tag on it that's where some people might gripe a little bit um i i think it's fair they did a pre-order on it i'm not sure where they are on that because it if you go to the website it says shipping november of 2019 so i'm assuming these are already out but the pre-order price was $14.95 US dollars, $1,495. And you did a $495 deposit up front and then you paid the balance of a thousand dollars and then they shipped. So I don't know where they're at on that. Um I don't know. You have to look at the website, it's a little confusing to me. But you can look at the handset, really nice polished with a small skeletonized section up towards the center of the hand stack, and then filled with I believe BGW9. We'll do a loom shot at the end here, I think. There's dual loom on this. I could be wrong. I don't remember where the BGW9 and the C3 is. But uh, when I did the UV light on it real quick just to look, there was two different colors of loom. But you can see the finishing on this is excellent. The, polis, the polished bits, the brushed bits, very sharp, very well done, high level of execution, and definitely premium parts used in, uh, in the overall design of this guy. So... Big thanks to Bruce for sending this over to me. Let me get a look at an Aqua Dive. Otherwise, I don't know that I would have had the chance to look at them. You just, I don't see them or out in the watch world. I'm deeply rooted in the community, both in you know Instagram, Facebook groups. 
the YouTube groups, everything like that. And I just, I don't see Aquadive mentioned very much. I'm not sure why, because it is a really killer watch and definitely has that Daxa type vibe, even though it's, it's definitely its own case design and everything. But real quick, just for size comparison, here it is next to an SKX. So you can see that 50 millimeter lug, uh, lug to lug definitely shows off there. But the rest of it, like the, the dial and everything is a little smaller, a little busier. The thickness isn't overwhelming or anything like that. It's going to wear really good on wrist. Uh, let me pop these lights off and we'll get a loom shot here. Oh, I was wrong. I don't think it is dual loom. Maybe just a little bit different, um, little bit different formula on the bezel insert versus on the hands and dial. But it all glows green and it glows uh, very good. So there's a quick look at the loom. Seems plenty bright. No problem there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next video.